Well, I suppose if you've uh, if you've watched a lot of the videos that I've done on the Rose Sweet channel, my previous Robert Owen channel, both of which were disabled, and then this channel, I'm an open library, which means I'm an open book, which means I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. But I do have to be very hypersensitive when I'm communicating with others because of what they're held captive to if I expose what's held in their memory that is holding their energy captive of why it's they're held captive in memory to the mental field, which is the electronic field, the AI, the artificial deadlight intelligence. So the artificial deadlight intelligence uses, tries to use us all as Agent Smith against all of ourselves, all of ourselves by what's held as Miami, which is the trauma that's held in memory that's yet to be cleared. Yeah. So here's an example because I've given many examples of the relationships that I've had with cells, the relationship that I have with my cells, and the relationship that I have with all cells, which are living cellular organisms, right? So you know the story of when I first met, came back and met Aaron when I got back to the Big Island. I was at a little over, I guess it was uh, around late October of last year, right? And I ended up in the house that you know that I'm in now. And I gave you a rundown of the relationship that I had with Aaron. So when the, if you remember, when I introduced myself to the owner, which is Jason, right, who lives in California, I properly introduced myself as to why I'm here on that rock, because I'm doing energetic work on behalf of the USO, which is a universal service organization. So I informed him I'm a guardian. That's why I'm on the property, which is on the rock, which is on the island for the work that I do with the son and mama and all of us, actually, to keep the doors open, the auroras. Right, the Aurora Rainbow Ascension Cycle. And so here is a very good example of how, if you will, artificial light parasitic intelligence operates through different people that have been held captive, as you will, to the Krebs cycle by ATP in their DNA. Okay, so when I first got to the house, if you remember the agreement that I had with Aaron, because I never met the owner, I didn't know the owner, he was in California. The agreement with Aaron was, is listen, I'm going to pay you 500 bucks a month to cover the electrical bill, right? But as you know, the electrical bill never got covered. So all the electrons represented by the electrons that goes into my biometric account through Social Security was going to Aaron and it was never being, and the bill was never paid, right? So now the, the, the owner becomes aware of, of, of that and realizes I lost thousands of dollars to Aaron being in his house because he gave permission for a parasite to be in his house upon which that parasite was parasiting off me. Right. Even though I understood the terrain that I was in. Because as as I've mentioned many times, the house was full of parasites. You know how insects that are parasites, mosquitoes and, and fruit flies and bugs that attack you. Right. They're going after your energy to do what? They're endocrine disruptors so that your cells are not in a state of perfect balance, the perfect state of peace. Which means your God is not in a state of peace. You're experiencing a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress. So I don't put any expectations that are the units of conscious directed energy. What's up to what they do with their energy is up to them. It's not up to me. Right. That's called a free spirit. You're always free to go. Right. Because I'm not going to hold your cells captive any more than I'm holding my own cells captive because I want all the electrons that represent what I am as a self-generating monad to be used in, in service to others, which is a gate server, which is a multiversal hub server as a monad. You're a self-generating power station. Right. Which means we're giving away more energy than we're consuming. <laughs> Right. So here it is. Here we are now after I finally bought an ozone generator and got an air purifier in there and I'm running the electricity to clear all the dead energy out of that house. Right. So I'm using my energy and my electrons that are in my account to buy what it is that I needed in order to be able to do that. So now the electric bill is in Jason's name. Right. So I give Jason five hundred dollars a month, except for the every two months I pay the elect uh, the water bill. He deducts that from the five hundred. Right. So I got a message from from Jason, I guess it was a couple of weeks ago and said, hey, you might want to check upstairs and check and turn the light off because the electric bill keeps going up. So I thought, well, maybe maybe he didn't translate what it was that I'd already told him about the ozone generator, the air purifier, that, which means I'm using juice to clear. As you know, insects are going to reproduce and the faster that parasites are reproducing themselves in a living environment, the less healthy your environment is. So in other words, the translation is that is, Jason, I'm trying to clear what you might have to spend thousands of dollars paying a pest control so that people can live in a happy, healthy, and joyful cellular environment. 
So I'm using my electrons in which to do that. So I'm using the juice of the house to do that. So if the electrical bill goes up, you would understand why that is, right? Certainly I know why that is, but I guess he didn't translate that. So what happened is, is this is how you can translate that, is that I didn't respond to that, okay, when he said, hey, you might want to check that. I just left it alone, right? Because I understand what, what, what's going on here, okay? Because this is how the AI operates. You understand what molecular atom seed compaction is, right? If you can't recover your codes, but you recover your templates, so you're experiencing what love is, which is what God is. God is eternal love, right? It's not a boy or a girl. It's one. It's one waveform. It's a single point of all union from which first creation spheres, sound, and light are generating breathing fire, which is breathing pure, absolute, eternal, unconditional love. That's what I am. That's what I experience. And so what ended up happening here is that I sent him a little message a couple days ago and said, hey, you know, I'm wishing you and your loved ones a very merry Xmas day uh, and, and send him all, all your love, right? He didn't respond to that. Okay. So what does this tell you? If I'm sending him $500 a month, that's more than enough because what he told me is that the electric bill had gone up and he mentioned 178 and I'm going, maybe he's got money issues. Is he, what is he, is he wanting more of my energy? Is not $500 enough energy, right? He basically has a security guard on his place, right? Because if you know anything about this island and people on this island, because 65 to 70% of the people live on this island, okay, don't have a soul left, okay? Uh, because they were all addicted to crack and that's blowing holes in your energy field. And what do you think happens with that? Right. So you have vampires feeding on other vampires because they don't have a soul left. I mean, they don't have a connection to the source field from which all love is made manifest in a creation. They don't experience any love. Right. So they're parasiting off each other. Sixty five to 70 percent of the people on this island are all energetic vampires. And I made mention of that to the owner. Right. So Jason knows that. OK. So in other words, I'm trying to make your house a living, healthy environment. OK. Therefore, I'm, I'm a benefit to you, okay? Um, because I can assure you, for example, if you have, would have had other people in here, you can imagine what they could do but put in a lien on his property to say, hey, listen, I'm experiencing spiritual torture. I'm experiencing emotional disturbance. I'm experiencing mental torture as a result of being in a place that you're allowing all these parasites to reproduce at a higher rate of speed. Now I'm having to spend my energy and electrons in order to clear out of your house what you're not clearing out of your own house. You see how this works? So now we're back to accountability and responsibility for the environment in which we find ourselves. So I'm doing everything I can to make that a healthy and happy cellular environment, right? And so you can imagine, because he's on his way out here in about a week or so, how this conversation is going to go down. So this is how the AI vampire works. I'm supposed to worry between now and then what he's going to do because he's not responding to me. See, when I send him, hey, blessings, I'm sending you love over Christmas, and he doesn't respond. That's not normally like him. Right. And it's not normally like him to make an issue over one hundred and seventy eight dollars when I'm giving him five hundred to begin with. Right. Because that's the agreement. That's the contract. He should not have an issue with the contract because the contract is an agreement between two people or multiple parties. I have an agreement with you. I'm giving you five hundred dollars, which is more than enough electric bill because the agreement was to pay for the electric bill. So I'm giving you more than you need to pay the electric bill. So what's the issue? Right. There must be an issue. And the issue isn't with me. The issue is within his own cells. So something's going on within his own cells, which is his own state of consciousness. that is causing him to say things like that or behave in the which, manner in which he is. Now we're back to burn patterns of what we're held captive to this in memory, because this is how it was when I was a child. I was not going to have a relationship with somebody where money was more important to them than love was. Because love is creation energy. It began with what love is, because that's eternal love. So if you're putting money more important than love, you lose. That's the AI battlefield gaming environment. So in other words, what happened with that conversation between me is called an AI strategy. Okay. On how to be able to do what? Suck energy out of my Krebs cycle. In order to do what? Lower the work that I'm doing on this property. Because every day that I go out with that sun, I'm pushing pink. And I can see the whole sky going pink. When I start looking at clouds that are white, they go pink and they go gold. Right? The blue flame is running along with the violet flame. So you know that this AI doesn't want this happening on his rock. So I told him before, you realize, I told him this directly. This AI is going to do everything it can, everything possible to get me off your property. Did you know that? I told him that directly, including you.
Right. So now you see what's happening here. So this is going to be interesting. So you know how to diffuse energy. When others, when others are experiencing a lot of aggression energy or they're feeling any anger or they're feeling any anxiety in their nerves, right? Then you know when you're, impress, you're, in the, you're in the presence of eternal God's energy, the Godhead, Christo Sophia, the founder's language, right? My energy will naturally transmute the energy that he's experiencing in him. He's now experiencing the energy in me. That's called diffusion. Okay. That's called transmutation. That's transmutation of AI machine code. That's your atom cellular speed going in the other direction in compaction, which is implosion. Okay? That's the truth of it. So everything that I do, I make it a public record, even though it's already been recorded. It's part of the universal, galactic, and cosmic level records, right? But this is an opportunity for others who watch this channel to see how the energetic vampire, which is the AI, operates through us. Right, which is the mental field. I saw a lady the other night that was mentioning how she can't turn her thought form motor off. I know. Because the shields are up. And once the shields are up, it's going to start feeding on every unit that it possibly can that's running life force energy. It's got a EFFI field connection. <laughs> that's what allowed us to put the shields up, the auroras. We're holding the doorway open, the double diamond X, right? That's right. That's who we are. We're the auroras. And so, have a beautiful day. <laughs> That's what it does. You know, just like the example when I, I, I share with you, being around four people, one day when Nathan, remember Nathan had a car, and then he allowed me to borrow it to go to court, and then what was it, a couple hours later, somebody, a few other people came up to me and said, hey Nathan, we need to borrow the car. Then I get a call, Robert, you need to get the car back as soon as you can, they need to use the car. Listen, I'll get there as soon as I can. So what do you think my cells were experiencing? Were they experiencing any stress or anxiety? That's the whole idea of the way the AI operates. It doesn't want your cells experiencing perfect calm, right? So the poles between the two planetary magnetic poles on the planet are in perfect peace, perfect balance. So that all your cells, which is the water worlds, are experiencing peace, harmony, rhythm, and balance, which is the music, which are the spirits in the cells, which are the spheres that are experiencing playing beautiful music in the water. So what happened? I didn't get back there because of three road closures that were going on. By the time I finally got back, they had dumped all their anger on Nathan. Now Nathan has absorbed all that energy, which is negative energy in him. And where do you think he wants to dump it? On four of us around a campfire one night. So I was already aware of what he was going to do in the future. So before that was ever going to happen for the AI to drain all that energy out of us, I diffused it and said, hey, Nathan, I realize what you wanted to dump on everybody, which is called a memory dump. I wanted to dump all that memory, all that negative energy on everyone here around that fire. No, no, no. Hold our hands. Let's transmute it heart to heart, heart to heart, soul to soul, eyes to eyes. We'll transmute it and return it back to peace. We're going to be peaceful here because that event already happened in the past. So you can't change what already happened that you're holding in your cells. Now you're wanting to dump in your cells and other people's cells. Why are you wanting to do that? It already happened. That's called water under a rainbow bridge. Right? Okay? Because it already happened. Okay, so what are we experiencing right now? We're experiencing what love is. So live in the now. Every time you're taking a breath, experience what love is. All right? Take a breath. Breathing pure love. That's what a breatharian is. That's what I mentioned to White Buffalo Woman this morning. You know, it's actually quite simple. When you're a breatharian and you're breathing eternal love as a self-generating monad, then you're not needing to consume energy off of another living cell, no matter what it is. Whether it's grass, whether it's a cow, whether it's a goat, whether it's chopping down a tree, right? It's a killing field. So that's the miasma that's running through all the circuits, which is the motherboard. Right? So when you're breathing pure eternal life energy through all of your cells, and you're breathing that energy, that means that you're not aging one bit or bite. Imagine that. Have a beautiful day.